I literally just put my lashes on, literally in the car. They might fall off while I'm walking across the stage. But you know what? Who cares? Because I'm walking today. And that's really all that matters. Like, baddie? y'all back with another video so as you can see in the title it's going to be my seventh month lock update and then it's just a little get ready with me um for my graduation so finally got to walk today so i'm going to start with i'm um, just shaping up my eyebrows with my eyebrow razor you see me talking um i was talking to my mama and my grandma my grandma flew in period so I'm going to just shape up my eyebrows with my eyebrow razor. My boyfriend got me this little ring light mirror thing um, a couple Christmases ago. And it is so cute. The only thing is you have to charge it. And sometimes it doesn't last as long as I need it to. AKA I'm just too lazy to plug it back in. So after I shaped up my eyebrows, um, I put some lotion on my face. And then I put on some primer I think it's the elf primer um, it came in a blue little container I did a little dollop you'll see it on here but I just wanted to talk through it all so um, y'all can see what I was talking about before I actually started doing it so here I'm using my makeup forever aqua brow in the color 40 y'all I've had the same thing for like two years it is the best eyebrow product I have ever used seriously and it lasts forever because you don't need a lot at all like not even the size of a peppercorn is what you need to do both your eyebrows so I use my angled brush I don't know exactly what brush it is but I use the angle part and then of course you use the spool to spread it out there's the elf primer right there that you know you want to dip your brush in the aqua brow stuff it's like a pomade type gel mix thing um, and then you just draw them babies on so go ahead and watch me work I wanted to say I usually start by doing a line on the bottom to shape the bottom and then if I feel like filling it in, I'll go ahead and fill it in. But usually I do a line on the bottom and then a line on the top and then I'll fill it in. And then I'll do my um, edges to kind of get that like uh, ombre type effect. going to take my LA color for forever girl whatever the, the the concealer we began from the hair store in the color medium beige and then I'm gonna go underneath my brow to shape that part and clean it up and then after I do my bottom brow you know I'll mix it in and everything and I blend it and then I take my foundation it's some cheap foundation y'all that I got from Walmart everything will be linked below um, but I get that and then I'll mix it in with the concealer so it's not too bright because I hate that Lion King looking type effect um, and I'll do that on my top brows.
after I clean up the top of my brow, everything is finished and brows are done. So it is time to go ahead and get to the makeup, period. Y'all, I could not tell you what palette this is. I've had this for years as well. Um, it's by Morphe. You can see I've had it for a very long time. And I'm not really big on using like heavy um, eyeshadows or dark colors. So I always use like a sandy orangish color. And then I'll go in if I'm going for a, according to me, bold look. I'll do like some white um, to offset it. Or some tan to give it kind of some, you know, makeup-y definition type of look. And then usually I'll go in with a little bit of glitter. So that's what I pretty much did. And then I did my um, concealer and a little bit of contour. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big heavy makeup wearer. Um, so pretty much did all of that and then now we're gonna go ahead and go into the retwisting process so I went ahead and dyed my hair my typical color that copper orangish color I didn't want to go a little bit lighter but I didn't want to dye my whole head so it's a little bit of an ombre effect but I don't care using my Mary's lock lock twisting lock gel and I'm just gonna let y'all watch at this point um, I put a little bit of gel on there oh my clip broke I put a little bit of gel um, on each part and then I'll take my comb comb it through and then use the comb to start the twist and then I um, palm roll the rest of it and then just clip it down so y'all can go ahead and watch me do this process and yeah actually my second time ever retwisting my hair so it's still a learning process but I kind of got the hang of it down now it's just figuring out that hand placement and hoping and praying that the parts look okay <laughs> and kind of just show y'all what the back is looking like so far so this is where we're at of course it's not as clean and perfect as my stylist would usually have it but we are retwisted and ready to go all 
all right y'all so here is the final look after oh look at my mom in the background final look after everything is retwisted and ready to go you can see that makeup is looking fire sitting under the dryer it's my main man bentalent and here we are off while I'm walking across the stage but you know what who cares because I'm walking today and that's really all that matters like daddy yeah I'm waiting on my friend now she running late too Lord Jesus but this is me this is the look this is the lip and we are out here <laughs> I'd like to thank our announcer, Kirk Rendell. 